Good day, students. Today, we will going to continue our lesson about website development. And for today's lesson, we will going to learn about the CSS SODO classes. Okay, so we will going to discuss first some of the important terms about SODO classes. And then after that one, kindly to prepare your notepad plus plus because we will going to have a demonstration about our activity for today. So let's start. What are SODO classes? When you say SODO classes, it is used to define a special state of an element. For example, it can be used to, number one, style an element when a user mouses over it. We can also use SODO classes if we want to style visited and unvisited links differently. We can also use the SODO classes if we want to style an element when it gets focus. So it means to say when we when we have SODO classes, we can style, we can improve our element every time that we point our mouse on it. Or we can also uh, put a style for when we want to get some text in our website being focused or being emphasized. So that's what SODO classes is used. We have also the syntax for our SODO, SODO code classes. So this is our syntax or its properties. We have number one, the selector. When we say selector, uh, it is the one that we want to apply style. After that one, we have the SODO class. After the SODO class, we have the property. And after our property, we will be going to put our value. So here is the example of is, uh, the syntax of a SODO classes. So as what you can see, we have the letter A here is our selector. The link here is our SODO class. The color here is our property. And this one, the hexadecimal here is our value. By the way, the hashtag FF000 is the hexadecimal for the color red. Okay, so this is the syntax for our SODO classes. Again, the first letter here, the A, is our selector. We're in every time that we have an A here, it means to say it's a class selector. We have our SODO class, which is the one that we were going to apply uh, the style or the design and the property, the color, and its value. Okay, so please remember our syntax for SODO classes. So we can use SODO classes in an HTML class. So here is the example. We have here the A, which is our selector. It's our class selector. The highlight here is the name of our class selector. We have here the hover, where in every time that we were going to put our pointer here, you can, uh, there is a hover that will happen the property, and its color. Okay, so this is how we use the classes in an HTML class. Okay, so as, with, as what you can see, this is the coding, and this is the result. Okay, later on, you cannot see the result. You can see that uh, this one, the CSS syntax will be focused or it will enlarge using the following codes for the classes that we were going to put. Later on, we will going to apply that one in our Notepad++. We can also use hover using our div. Okay, an example of using the hover, so the class and a div element. By the way, when we say div, it's a division. If you want to separate something, some element in your website, we can use division. It's also the same with class, right? In our previous lesson, we used the class we're in Using the class, we separate paragraph one from, from paragraph two. It's also the same with our div or division. Division in class functions the same, okay? But the div here is used to enclose more, uh, more, uh, more than one, one or more than one elements in our website. Okay, so here are some of the examples if we want to use over on our div. Okay, so later on, we were going to apply this uh, this one as well. Okay, and for the last, 
uh, sodo class, we were going to apply the first child sodo class. When we say first child sodo class, it matches a specified element that is the first child of another element. As what we can see, when we say first child, based on what we understand, when we say first child, it's the first, right? So if you can have or you can see a lot of text there with the same, uh, a lot of the same text, and if you want only to give emphasis only to the first, to, the, to that first text, we can use the first child. Like, for example, this one. Okay, as what you can see, we have two strong person here. But if you want only to give emphasis to the first strong, then we can use the first child. Okay, so this is the coding and this is what will happen in the result. Okay, so again. First child is used to style only the first text that you can see. Where in the other text in our paragraph, does not change. Just like this one. Only the first strong change while the other one stays. And the same. Okay. And this is the code used for it. So what you can see, the color will become blue for that first child. And only the first child change into color blue. Okay, so that's it this time. Let us now apply the things that we have learned here using, using Soda Class as in our Notepad++. And let us try to see that one in our website. Okay, so we have here already our Notepad++ in our website, okay? So this time, the first thing that we were going to do is we were going to apply over using div, okay? Over using division, okay? In that case, we were going to go back to our main page here, and we were going to put, okay, a phrase, and that phrase is, Using div for division, the phrase will be here. This species endangered. Okay, so as what you can see, that our phrase here. Is enclosed using the div or division. Okay, let's do a refresh here. So there it is. Now let us put some style using our CSS. So this time, let us now use div division. Let us now change its background color. Like this, I'm going to change, make this one color green. Okay. I'm going to put at the same time the padding. And the space around our text that will be 25 px. Okay. I'm going to put our text in the center. This is text align. Okay. Make sure to follow grade 8 because this will serve as your activity number three for our second bit. We can also change the size of our text. Remember, if you want to change the size of our text, then we use the font size. For the font size, I'm going to make this one as 30px. The 
try how big is 30 px is. Okay, so it's a little bit bigger. Let's say I'm going to make this one only 20 px. Okay, so I'm good with 20 px. After this, you can also change the color of your font. All you have to do is just the right color. And for this, I'm going to make it light. Okay, so there you go. Now this time, let us now apply your pseudo class. And that pseudo class is over on the div green. Every time that we put our mouse on this, here are the least species that are endangered. There will be, or it will change its color. So we use over add no div Okay, so this is our selector. Then this is our soda class, which is the holder. Next, we are going to put now our property, or our property that is color. And after we put our property, the next thing that we are going to do is let us place our value. For this one, the value is color red. Okay, so let us save our work and let us do a refresh. Okay, so let us try. Okay, very good. So notice that only the text change into color red. It's because we have only put the hover and only for the text. Now, if you want to change the entire background to become color red, instead of color for our text we can write here background color background color and the color will be red save our work and let us do a refresh okay so there there you go so every time that i place my pointer here there is it changes from color green into color red. We can also change the color of our text. So all we have to do is just write color. And for the color, I'm going to make this one yellow. Save our work and let's do a refresh. Okay, so there we go. The background changed into color red and the text changed into color yellow. We can also apply um, link here where in every time that you can that that your pointer over on this text you can click this one and you will go to the link and you can see now the different list of endangered species but right now we are not going to apply that one we will going to do that one in our next lesson but uh, it's very easy lang on how to apply link. All we have to do is just to write a href. Remember that a href is used to put links to our website. But in this case, we need to add another HTML. But for now, let us just focus only in our objective for today, and that is to apply sodo class, okay, sodo classes in our website. Okay, so again, this is how we change, or this is how we apply so the classes using hover, hover on div or division. Now, the next thing that we were going to do is we were going to use a highlight, or uh, shall we say, we were going to highlight some text in our paragraph. Okay, so let's go back to our main website. And in this case, we were going to write another paragraph here. And then, after this, let us write paragraph. 
eight or paragraph. And I think I have already here a paragraph written. I'm just going to copy here. Control C and put it in our paragraph. Control P. Close that one with our end tag slash P. Then let us save our work and let us do a refresh. Okay, so we have now our paragraph. After it, let us try to use a highlight. Now to do a highlight, let's go back to our style. And for this one, we will going to apply a sodo class for our Wide uh, Wildlife Resources Conservation and Protection Act. Now to do this one, what we have to do is write a class here. A class equals highlight. The name of the class is highlight. And we will go into enclose it here. We notice that we put a highlight or a classification for our wildlife resources conservation and protection app. Let's try to save our work and let's go to our CSS. Now, in this case, let us now put a highlight or let us now put a coding. To do this, we have a dot. Highlight and we were going to apply over. Now I want to hover this text and I'm going to change its color. For this, I'm going to make the color into blue. I'm going also to change its font size that every time that I'm going to put my pointer or my mouse, it will hover, it will change into color blue, and it will also change its size into 22 EX. Save now our work and let us do our refresh. Okay. Now, so what you can see. Every time that I place my pointer here in a wildlife conservation, it changes, it hover, and it changes its color. Okay, at the same time as what you can see, the font size also of this text changes into 22 px. Okay, in this type of command, we can also put a link here. That every time it, uh, it hovers, we can click this one and the viewers can have a little information or another information about what is this wildlife conservation and protection app. Okay, so let us try to put a link for this one. Now to put or apply a link, all we have to do is write an A. href let us see if this will work and this time let us link this one with another html which is our menu okay so save our work and let us do a refresh let's see if it will work okay so there you go so what you can see is now a link and when we click this one, it goes to our menu 
website. But this time, I think uh, the page for our menu is not yet working. Now, I'm just going to remove this one, save, and it's going to refresh here. We can also change the color of our wildlife here. All we have to do is just to go to style. Okay, and then we could use to change the color of our wildlife resources here, we can use the, the first family, the first child, I mean. How to apply the first child? All you have to do is, let us put a selector here. And for this selector, I'm going to use italicize. this one as well. Then, after I already put the italicize, let's go back to our style. And let us now apply our first child. Again, we use first child if we want to style something in our text we're in only the first or only this one will be will will be emphasized. Save now our work and let us do a refresh. Okay, so there you go. So what you can see, there is it, the Wildlife Resources Conservation Protection Act changes into color white since we already applied this what we call first child. Okay, so it also over, but this time, as what you can see, it does not change into color blue. Okay, why is it it does not change into color blue? It's because uh, the value or the, the soda code that we put here for our first child overpass or highlight for this class, okay, but the color. So we cannot have two colors in just one element, which is our paragraph. So it's either... Uh, the website we're going to select only one color and in this case it prioritize the white instead of the blue but the hover and the font size change or still works in this one okay so again that is that is how we apply class sodo class in our website again class is used to style some text in our website. Style is used to style an element. Every time that you, you, your mouse was over it, we also apply focus to our link. Every time that we point our pointer in the conservation act, we, it changes its size, it becomes bigger, and we give focus or emphasize, or emphasis on that text. Okay, so that is how 
so the classes function okay so this time i want to to, to screen record your work and post your work in our activity for today again for our activity for today please screen record your work this one and then place that or put that one in our activity folder so thank you so much for listening in our lesson and tomorrow we will go into another lesson and that is sodo class element and this one is sodo class lecture for tomorrow we will going to use or we will going to learn the sodo class element thank you so much and have a nice day to everyone